So you guys have been requesting a skincare video, um, a routine for the longest now, and I did one a while back, but it's really outdated, so I wanted to do a new one. My skin is actually a lot better now than it was um, before. Not that I've ever had problematic skin. I think a lot of it has to do with me simplifying the products that I use. I used to be all about the expensive products and you know whatever cool new product is out, I would go try it. Um, but now, most of the products I use, well, all the products I use are really inexpensive and easy to get. I am shooting foundation-free. I, I don't know, it just didn't seem right to shoot a skincare video and be full of makeup. I do have brows on, of course, and a little bit of blush. I didn't want to look like death for you guys, but um, I do have this uh, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. I actually really like it. It's like a big, giant crayon but it's like a it's just a throw on lip kind of like a gloss but not sticky it's like a balm with a little bit of a shine and it it does actually stain your lips not as much as a traditional stain would but I like that it's moisturizing more moisturizing than a traditional stain anyway that's not what I'm supposed to be talking about so the cleanser that I use now is actually relatively new I've been using it for about three weeks but I really like it so far it's the Neutrogena Naturals fresh cleansing and makeup remover so instead of having to use like a makeup remover and then a cleanser this kind of does both it does a really good job of removing my makeup without having to use a makeup remover beforehand for my everyday makeup it works really well even for like a smoky eye the times that I have issues removing my eye makeup is when I use like a really intense base like a MAC grease paint stick because it's just, you know, it's stuck on my eye. So then I would have to use like an eye makeup remover. But for the most part, I use this. It's a foaming cleanser. It smells really good. And um, you don't really need that much. You just kind of, it, I just use one pump and um, wash my face. It works really well with my Clarisonic, which is another part of my skincare regimen. I've been kind of lazy with this lately, and even though I have been, my skin has still been really good, but this is still one of my favorite, favorite products, and highly recommend this to everyone. So, how I test my cleanser is I do the toner test. So, I take a cotton round and wipe my face with this toner that I've done a video on. I love this product. I think this is my second or third bottle, and... You know, I, I do the cotton round and see if there's any foundation or makeup left on the cotton round. And it's generally pretty clean. So I do use this to get rid of any, you know, leftover makeup that may have been left behind. But generally with this cleanser, I don't have that much left behind. Um, but I also feel like uh, it kind of adds a little bit of moisture back into my skin. It is alcohol free and my skin has been so much better since I've started using this instead of all those fancy toners that I used to use before. Now, um, I kind of alternate between two products after I wash my face. The first one is the Rock Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. And I got this um, from Clout. And they sent a couple of them for me to try out. Now, I don't have wrinkles per se. But I am 30 years old, and prevention is a lot easier than trying to fix the problem. So I'm all about prevention. This is a retinol product, so it's not as strong as like the prescription strength Retin-A, but you will find um, some tingling, and, and you might be sensitive to it. Um, some people actually, you know, have like a reaction to it at first. I didn't really have any type of reaction to it. I did feel like a little bit of tingling. It didn't really bother me, it just kind of felt like it was working to me. Um, this is a little bit drying, so what I do is I put this on at night, and I don't use this every day, especially in the beginning when you're testing this out, you want to use it, you know, maybe every other day or even less, every two or three days. And um, But the days that I do use it, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is put moisturizer on because um, I feel like I feel like if I put moisturizer on with it at night that it kind of takes away from this product so I either use this or my moisturizer at night. But I've noticed 
that the overall appearance and texture of my skin has been better. Um, I had like tiny little black heads. Um, they weren't that big of a deal, but I noticed like a huge difference in that. I don't really have little random breakouts anymore. I used to get them definitely once a month, and I would get them just sporadically. I would just get a random little pimple, and it was just annoying. And I feel like this, out of all the skincare products that I'm going to talk about today, I feel like this is the one that changed all of that. So I highly, highly recommend this. I've seen it at Costco. Skincare is so personal though, so something that works for me might not work for you. But I really do love this product. So when I don't use the Rock, I actually just use a moisturizer. And I've been using this for quite a while. It's the Olay Age Defying Not Focusing Camera Intensive Nourishing Night Cream. And this product, I love. I've had, this is probably, I don't know. I can't even count how many jars I've used of this. It does have the, you know, traditional kind of jar um, container, which I don't like, but whatever. This is also kind of an anti-wrinkle or anti-aging product. It has BHAs in it. BHAs are awesome because it goes into your pores and cleans them out. It's basically like exfoliating without exfoliating. Now, when using both of these products, you want to make sure you use a good sunblock. My current go-to foundation is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, and that's in light medium. Oh, I thought I was using medium. I've been blogging that it was medium. So anyway, this has an SPF 35 in it, but if I'm not using that, I do like the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer uh, Dry Touch Sunblock, which is SPF 70, um, which is probably a little excessive, but... I do really like this. It's not um, super thick and it doesn't smell funny, so I do like this. So in the evening, wash my face, use the toner, and then either apply the retinol cream or the moisturizer. So the next day when I wake up, I usually go ahead and use the toner again with the cotton round. And the toner is so gentle and it's not stripping, so I feel like I can use it as many times as I need to. So, you know, I'll quickly clean my face just with that and um, I don't overwash my face like I used to before anymore and I think that's helped a lot too so if I don't put makeup on I don't generally do a full cleanser I'll just use a toner and you know wipe off any dirt that I've accumulated through the day I find that that really helps that I'm not constantly stripping my face so after I do my morning toner I will usually put this um, simple replenishing moisturizer. It's just a very basic moisturizer. Um, it is, I don't want to say heavy, but it's definitely for normal to dry skin. There's no fragrance, there's no dyes, there's nothing fancy about it. It's just a moisturizer that works. And I like it because it absorbs in my skin before I put my makeup on. So I really like this. It doesn't have any BHAs, AHAs, anything in it. So. Um, it doesn't make my skin more sensitive to the sun in the day. Also, in the evenings, I slather this on my lips, and I've done a video on this before. This is just good old AD ointment, and I've done a video on all the Cabellian lip products that I've tried. I've spent so much money on lip products, and probably three or four years now I've been using this, and nothing but this as far as a lip treatment and I just put it on at night and that's it. So that's my super simplified skincare regimen. Um, I do do masks here and there. I do an aspirin mask here and there. Um, but I really just don't fuss with my skin anymore and I feel like it's better. For my skin personally, less is more. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't have an extravagant skincare video with all these awesome products. It's pretty simple, but I do hope it helps somebody out, and I'll see you guys around.